whatever. Hi Pumita, you it's Arista here. Today I am on Figure Fantasy and enjoying the last couple hours left of the Figure Fantasy Playground of Destiny, which is the topic of our video today. I mean, I really like the Playground of Destiny because it really gives you something that your club can do together, like live. Like, so if your club mates are on at the same time as you are and playing on the Playground of Destiny, you can kind of see the kind of moves that they are making in terms of exploration or finding a stop and end, and so you could kind of chat with them at the same time and formulate a strategy if you actually wanted to go ahead and do so. Uh, not to mention the diamond and the commemorative coins for the eternal badge prize exchange is pretty cool too. Each club member gets 12 operation vouchers every day to use which can be used for exploration or combat, uh, one ticket per exploration and three tickets per combat. You could have up to store 24 vouchers at once which means that you can actually miss a day of doing it and still not like have wasted any vouchers for the next day. You can earn prize tokens and as you see here one of our club mates has a popped in and then doing the exploration in the new level station. Uh, you earn prize tokens when using these vouchers too. So there are solo and club tasks that you can also complete for like additional tokens for yourself. Other currencies that you earn are exploration badges when exploring, combat badges when combating or completing a combat, boss cups for attacking the boss, and playground points for each playground token that your club members earn. So there's six different currencies plus another commemorative token currency that's rewarded at the end of the season that can be used to exchange for prizes uh, at the store, resulting in a total of seven different currencies used for the Playground of Destiny. You can explore to find treasure chests, seals, you know, discover monsters to be for badges, and of course there's that boss that you have to defeat as well. In general though, there's three objectives that you need to achieve before moving on to the next stage which will, you know, grant you better prizes, discover three treasure chests, uh, defeat the boss, and connect the path from the start to the end point which means to the right to the left hand side. The playground points can be used to unlock club skills such as showing where the boss is or, you know, where the treasure chests are on the map. So. As you can see right now, this is an accumulative uh, point of all the club members here. On the top, you see the not owned skills um, that you can purchase, you know, various skills from showing, you know, a uh, combat buff or like a uh, exploration special skill. And on the bottom, you see all the ones that your club has used up so far. Um, as far as I know, that the points that uh, the playground points are expired at the end of the season, so you want to try to use them. Uh, maybe, you know, hold them off until the end of the season. Um, you just need to use it so on the bottom here you could see how many times it was used and if here if we use the lucky pendant exploration special skill as you can see now on the map you see all these highlighted areas where the lucky stones are that you can go ahead and pick up uh, please do keep in mind only the uh, manager position um, or the assistant manager or like the uh, the what what you call it I, I forgot my title um, the 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 president or something or whoever started the club they could, they're the only ones that can actually use these skills and this being a gotcha game, obviously there are rankings involved. So the first one is the boss cup ranking. Basically it shows you um, who in the club has the most boss cup points by having done the most damage in all the bosses throughout the stages. Then there's also the club ranking to show how your club is doing overall. My club has been like on the top 100 which I think is actually pretty awesome for being a pretty non-competitive club, uh, club in general. Uh, we are still looking for some active members. We've had quite a few inactives lately which is kind of sad. Uh, so we're looking to place it but either way I think our club has been doing this so awesome and trying to work together to move on to the next station. And I can tell because they also have a section called the winners of destiny why it actually shows you all the different types of activities that your club members have been doing for this particular uh, season um, whether it be like discovering chests or boxes or finding a lucky stone or you know eliminating the boss or the enemy. Remember one of the currencies that you can earn are the uh, playground seals and the combat seals. So the playground seals you can uh, depending on how much you earn or depending on how many your club earns you can go up up this timeline to unlock different exploration type of prizes like getting extra tokens um, when you discover a chest and things like that. The combat seal is very similar except that you earn you know buffs and skills for when it 
pertains to the actual combat that you will run across in this field. Um, as you can see here, we have almost unlocked almost all of them, which, which I said, like, like I said, it's great. I really, I am very appreciative to all the teamwork that our club mate has, has been putting together. And here you see the Redemption Awards, as you can see the accumulable Diamond Awards on the left with the solo task and the club task here that you can earn the additional uh, playground points for. And as we talked about, the commemorative coins here are also earned. So if you go ahead to the club store, you see currently right now the commemorative member, the commemorative points can be used for an eternal badge card that you could pick or the Awakening Pinnacle badge, which is for the Vanguards. Boosts his own dodge chance by 25% within 8 seconds of the start of battle, deals damage equal to 220% attack to the attacker when dodging, and deducts an additional 11 energy while in the arena. So it's actually a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice badge for any vanguards that you have, you might have, like Rin or anybody like that. Uh, because dodging will definitely help. Um, as you know, most vanguards are pretty squishy, especially in, especially in comparison to defenders. So it's definitely going to be useful, especially in the arena when you're deducting the energy of your enemies as well. One last thing of note that I did want to tell if you happen to be like in a manager position in a club, they do have playground points which will be deducted from your total. So I would actually, uh, you know, just wait until the season is over even if you had to remove any kind of unactive members from your club. Um, and just just because it, you know every little bit helps regardless of the amount. Well, that's it for me today, guys. I hope that you guys are all enjoying the playground of Destiny as well and having fun playing with your clubmates and earning prizes together. What ranking is your club in currently in the playground? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like random gaming content, especially on mobile gacha games, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post every Wednesday and weekends. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and take care.